Well, hello, Cover Tent friends. How y'all doing? We are here at the stove. Come right down here. I'll show you what we got cooking. This is just some cooked chicken, and that is broth that's in there. Very little spices, a little bit of spices, pepper, quite a bit of pepper, actually. Over here, I hope y'all can see this. So, let me move you over a little bit. Can y'all see? Let's see. Maybe I can move you back here. It's hard to have you on the stove and not hot. Let's see what happens right here. Okay, so I've got this little saucepan, and this is just half and half. And I'm gonna pour half and half in here. That right there, however much that is. I'm gonna put a little bit of those diced onions that I diced up the other night. And I told you I'd use them a little lighter. Well, there they are. A little bit. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic. And that chicken has just been cooking. Uh, it's about a, a breast left. See how that milk is already? Watch your milk, it'll scorch. You wanna keep it going. Now here's a little bit of garlic. You put as much as you can stand. There it is. Half and half onions and garlic. Hmm. What a combo. What a combo. And to that I'm going to add about four ounces of cream cheese but I'm going to put it in a little bit at a time. I'm going to put a little in at a time. You don't want this to scorch. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. What are we making here? Anybody guessed yet? That right there. About what three, huh? What are you fixing Spanish? Yeah. Mama guessed. I see it slaying over those. That's what I guess. Cream cheese, half and half. And cream um, garlic. And a little onion. That's all that's in there. Mama, that's the chicken. It's, it's done. I'm going to sit there. Okay. I'll have your supper in just a second, Mom. Now, you just want to let this cream cheese melt in there. Just like that. Now, I'm going to put in this mixture here, I'm going to put a little bit more half and half. That'll give it a chance to cool down. We're making a thin, and I'm gonna put one heaping tablespoon of flour. One heaping tablespoon of flour. Ooh, that flour. And that's gonna cause it to thicken. I'm gonna take it off the heat here. But I'm going to get something better to stir with than this. This is a whisk. You don't want to scorch this. You want it to stay See, it's not brown, it's not scorched. You can put a little nutmeg in this if you want. It's cooling down a little bit. Let me reach behind y'all and turn this eye down a little bit. Gonna put a little black table pepper. 
meaning it's already ground. Now, I'm going to set this off here just a little bit, and I'm going to start adding my spinach. Now, that spinach, you all know what happens to spinach when you put it in heat. Don't you? Add your spinach. Let it all get mixed in. And put it back on the heat now. And you're just going to let that spinach cook down in your white sauce. You can put um, Parmesan cheese in this if you want. You can put mozzarella cheese. Keep it moving. You can add salt. I'm not gonna. You can add red pepper. You can put whatever you want in there. Anything you want is free game. Any flavor you like. And it's down to medium low. So it's not on scorch or boil. It's on a medium low. Cream spinach. Mm. See, where'd all that spinach go? Where does it go? That's a good question. It wilts right away. Wilts right away. Now that wasn't quite a whole bag. I used some of it the other day. So I used about, ended up using about three ounces of cream cheese, about a teaspoon, good healthy teaspoon of garlic, about a good tablespoon of onions, and about a half a cup of half and half. You can use cream, whatever you want to use. And that's deliciousness right there. I'm going to try my best to dirty every utensil in the house. If I can, Mama. What are you doing? Well, right now I'm just dirtying up everything. Dirtying everything inside. Trying my hardest anyway. Alright, let's get this on the table. take this now. Thank y'all for watching that for me. Spinach. Chicken. Okay. Now if I can grab you all. I'm sorry for the movement tonight. Sorry for all the movement. Can't do it any other way than I know of. There's Mama. Uh -uh. Mama, who you want? Water? Yeah. Let me go get a water. Mama, talk to him. Oh, I can't talk. I'm half asleep. <laughs> Wake up, Mama. I know it. He thinks I can sit here and talk like he does. I can't do that. Wake up, Mama. Get a I've got one. That's my water from earlier. Here's your fresh water. Thank you. Now, because I started ahead of time, 
this was some leftover rice. Mama loves sweet and sour. This is sweet and sour rice. Instead of sweet and sour chicken over white rice, uh, this is sweet and sour rice. And all I did was heated the rice and added the sweet and sour sauce. This is a super quick and easy. I already had the rice and the chicken had been cooked, so we were good on all that. All right, Mama. We'll get started. Sweet and sour rice. Now, you won't want anything stacked. No, no, that's good. She won't want anything stacked. But I'm going to stack mine a little bit. I don't know why that water, I feel like I'm going to spill it. So I've got this strainer so I can strain the broth out of this chicken. I'm going to put yours beside, okay? Yeah. Was your nap good, Mama? Yeah. You rested me up some. Well, that's what you needed, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm putting my chicken right over top of mine. And then I'm going to put my cream of spinach. Deliciousness. I'll lay it on the side. Mama, you want like a double helping of this, don't you? No, I don't. One spoon. It's green. I know it. Let's bless it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you, dear Lord, for allowing us to sit here and partake of it together. And dear Lord, we just pray that you'll be with each and every one gathered here. Be with their prayer requests. Be with their needs, dear Lord. Watch over this world we're living in. Be with our country, dear Lord. And watch over us and everything that we do and say. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, good old coffee. And since I went and got you a water, I brought me a bottle of water too. What are y'all saying? I guess I've been on here a long time not seeing comment. Love your hair, Mama. Oh, wow. Thank you. She's getting over shingles. She. Yeah, Nola's telling y'all what Mama's been through in the past month. She's had a lot going on. Shingles and cellulitis and... Whew. Urinary tract. Urinary tract infection and... Heart failure. And dealing with the heart failure and trying to get ready for a no stent. Mama, you a busy woman. I'm over on low, oh, overload. I can't even get it out. Spinach, cream of spinach. If you thought it was hard, it's not. If you thought you couldn't do it, you can. Um, and I'm going to tell you how it tastes right now. And you can add all kinds of things. Uh, you can add cheese. You can add anything you want to. I did put cream cheese, but you can also add uh, Parmesan cheese if you want to. Or hot sauce if you want to. There's tons of stuff you can do with it. Mm. Or you can just enjoy it just like it is. Now, as Mama always says here lately, you could use some salt. But we're not doing that. We're learning to like the flavors without salt. And it's really good, isn't it, Mama? Yeah. What would you give that green stuff? Oh, probably an eight. I'll stretch it. An eight? <laughs> I'll stretch it. How did I make this? Is that what you said? Well, I started out with about a cup of half and half. I added a little bit later. And I put about a heaping tablespoon of chopped onions and about a teaspoon of garlic minced out of the jar. Out of the jar. And that's all. And I put black pepper. Now, you could put a little salt in yours, but we're trying to get used to it without it. And then I put about three-fourths of a bag of spinach. And it, it, you're going to need a lot of spinach. You're going to need about three times as much spinach as you think you will. Okay? But it's very good. You see her eating that? <laughs> what do you think of that rice, Mama? The rice is good. It just got... All I did was it took white rice and I put just a little bit of Leanne Perrin's uh, Worcestershire sauce in it. Like dash dash. And then the rest of it was just about a third of a cup probably of sweet and sour. And just mixed it in and heated it. That was it. That was Rice was easy.
Mm. I started to put pineapples. Now I thought we don't need pineapples, but you could put pineapples in it, make it a little tangy. Why didn't I put the sweet and sour on the chicken? Well, I wanted, since the rice was left over, white rice in the refrigerator, I wanted it to have a little bit of body to it. And the chicken, I knew we wouldn't eat all that chicken. So I've got chicken for another meal without having to put all the sweet and sour in it. So we might have dumplings or something with that other chicken. Yeah. But you can do yours however you want to. But I do want my rice to have a little bit of you know, mobility. I didn't want it to just be crumbly rice. Mmm. I think it's delicious, Mama. Yeah, everything's good. You can add all of it together and it's even good. That's what I'm doing, Baba, but you know how mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> Very tasty. Now, what are y'all up to? What are y'all doing tonight? You can add a bit of lemon zest to mimic salt. It helps. Oh, Wanda, that's great, Mama. She said lemon zest would mimic salt. Mm. Good tip. What is sweet and sour? Heather, David, you can buy it at the store. I just use Kraft, but you, there's tons of brands of sweet and sour sauce. It's just a condiment. We use it to dip chicken in. We use it for rice. Uh, sometimes I will make it breast, chicken breast in a pan, and I'll put a little bit on each one. Um, just any sweet and sour sauce. You can make homemade sweet and sour, but I didn't. This particular brand is just Kraft sweet and sour sauce, but you can buy any kind you want. Kraft is just what we have here at our store. We've used it for years. Have one moment. Mm -hmm. I think it's my favorite sauce. I think it, I started saying I think it's one of Mama's favorites, and that's what she was just saying. It's her favorite. Sweet and sour is her favorite. It kind of tastes like what you get at the Double Arches, don't it? Yeah, I get a McDonald's at Double. Throws me for a loop. <laughs> the spinach, the cream of spinach, is very good. It could use some lemon zest or salt, but pepper is good in it. You like the cream of spinach better with Parmesan cheese or without? Oh, I don't know. You know, I'm trying to learn to eat all this spinach and everything. I've made it before. This just happens to be without because I didn't have any. I didn't have a fresh block to grade and I didn't have the the canned stuff that everybody hates either. Uh, so we did without. If I'd had it, I might have put a sprinkle in there, but I've made it plenty of times without it. If I could have one thing in my refrigerator at all times, and it'd always be fresh and ready to go, I would love to have spinach all the time because I can throw it in anything. I can use it in a salad. It's just a quick and easy meal prep thing. Yeah, you love your spinach. I love some spinach. The rice and the chicken, you still taste the good chicken flavor. But then there, here comes that sweet and sour in that rice. Mmm. Mama says she's liking getting cooked for. And she might let me keep cooking. I might do that. I say, we ain't had a good meal since she quit cooking. I'm ready for her to cook. What did you cook the other day? I don't remember nothing. Something you cooked the other day and I said, this is good. The only thing I fixed was the rice one day. You heated the macaroni and cheese. No, that was just heating it. I didn't do nothing to it. You did cook this rice. Mm -hmm. So you did help with tonight's supper. All right. What are you going to do, Mama? Since you've had a nap, you ready to... 
sit up a little while. Rally hack and hack? No, I hope not. You ever heard that before? My granny used to say that all the time. You kids is rallied all night. Meaning, you ain't like been still. You ain't been in for something all night. And by all night, I meant till 9 o'clock at night. It's like, you know, 6, 7, 8. Time to go to bed. It ends up rallied all night. This is. Thank you, Elizabeth. Hi, Deanna. There you go, Mama. She cooked breakfast. Deanna, she did cook some breakfast, didn't she? I'm glad somebody remembers what. Well, thank you. Uh, Carletta, that's sweet of you to say. Our food always looks good. Nice of you to cook, Lou. Well, you know, Lou, I don't care a bit to do it. And, um, Mama likes to cook, but a lot of times there's certain things she don't want to cook, and I'll cook. But we always just have always, when I was a kid even, in the teen years when I started cooking, she would say, you want to cook the so-and-so? You know, you want to make the and she'd name whatever she wanted me to make. And I'd say, yeah, I'll do the coats, so I'll say. And that's kind of always just been how we do it, Mama. Mm -hmm. We've always helped each other. And you've got your things you like to cook. And there's some things I can cook, and I swear to you, I promise, I do it exactly like she tells me, but it's not as good. It's not. I'll say, Mama, now watch me. Is this, yeah, yeah, that looks good. That, and it just don't taste as good as yours. Just get used to certain cooking and you like it better. Uh-huh. I know, it's just weird. It's 58 degrees here. Ooh, no wonder I'm kind of chilly. It's wonderful outside. There's a cool breeze blowing. The it's babies, cold all day. The breeze has been blowing all day. The sun has shone and the blue skies are out. I love the blue skies of October. There's a little wisp of clouds, but they're just like jewelry. They're just here to be pretty. They ain't going to cause no rain. We did have a little storm last night come marching through, but we've not had any rain today. It's been an A-B day. Absolutely beautiful. And them little fur babies have had the time of their life. They have romped and run and played and rolled and they've been laying out in the sun today it's been so cool now they're usually shade dwellers and they've got this uh, maple tree back here you think kids been playing under it where they've got the grass wore down but they have enjoyed the sunshine today they've been able to get out in the sun and play and do their thing today i they? seen them out there earlier they was laying out in the sun right up against yeah. each other yeah, they lay right up against each other. I don't know if it's for protection or the, it's warmth. But they do it even on hot days. They lay in the shade that way. I think they're afraid one of them's going to do something they wasn't going to get do. <laughs> Mama, you got anything you want to add tonight? No, everything's good. Tell them how you've been feeling and everything. I'm feeling better, a lot better than I did. You've not had any real bad shortness of breath in over a week. No. Um... I've not even noticed you like pausing to rest a minute as much. Well, you know. I pause every once in a while, but not often. And it's because that water's coming off. Yeah. And the medicine they've got me on is seems to be helping a whole lot. Excuse me. Yeah, a lot. Mm -hmm. And you're drinking a lot of water mm -hmm. and less pop. And that makes you feel a little better, don't it? Yeah. I don't think so. It's like no salad. <laughs> yeah, it's like no salad. <laughs> We've discovered, Mama and I both, a lot of the foods we like, we like it because of the salt. <laughs> we, we had fried taters the other night, and Mama said, They weren't good. They weren't good. She said, It tastes too much like a potato. I said, Yeah, they are pretty potato y, aren't they? I put black pepper on them. I put a little of that other seasoning with no salt. And um, she said, they're good. You, mean, you did them right, she said, but I just missed the salt. And I said, turns out, Mama, we like fried salt better than fried taters. 
worse. I believe that's the truth. But you know where I've not been eating much salt? Everything else that I go to eat that I used to could eat is too salty for me. I can't that's a good it. sign. We're transitioning. I tasted some cheese the other day. I thought, boy, that cheese is salty. And I, I thought, couldn't eat a piece of cheese the other day. It was so salty. I thought, well, I guess that's where you've not been eating salt. But I think it's good for us. And I'm learning to like, you know, like that spinach. I taste the spinach. I taste the other things in it. And I like it. We'll get used to it. We'll just eat more know. pepper. <laughs> I might get you into hot sauce for it a little bit. No, no. It's probably loaded <laughs> in salt. Coffee makes everything taste good, I think. What do you think? I don't know about that. I ain't that big a coffee drinker. She drinks a cup every morning now. No, no, I ain't been drinking it every morning. You haven't? I drink hot tea a lot of mornings and coffee some Oh, well, it's still good for you. Mm -hmm. All right, Mama, this was a good supper. It was quick and easy, and there's not a lot of clean that. Now, I've got more than one pot. I love them one pot wonders. But, uh... I'm going to put that rice in this bowl and put it in there. And I'm going to put that uh, cream of spinach in a bowl and the chicken in a bowl. And then I'm going to wash those two kettles and I'll be done. These two plates. Oh, well, that ain't much at all. No. No, it ain't much at all. Mm -hmm. The dishes in the dishwasher are clean. Oh, good. So. I, I heard it running earlier. Today. I'll empty that out. And then we can start loading it back up. Yeah. I think if I ever had plenty of money, you know, wishing something, wouldn't it be nice to have a kitchen with two dishwashers? You could constantly be in rotation. Maybe, you know, just like side by side. Maybe a little bit bigger than they are and just half and half or something. You can have a dirty side and a clean side. What y'all think? Hmm. You know, a lot of kitchens, they have two ovens on the wall. I think two dishwashers would be great. Oh, no. One. Are you hearing something? No, that light over there is blinking. One with clean, and then like tonight, I could start the other one with dirty. Well, you'd have to switch them back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. I used to have a sign on that old dishwasher. You flipped a... Clean, dirty. Clean, dirty. No, you'd have to alternate them. One day your clean one will be your dirty one. The next day your dirty one will be your clean one back and forth. Mm -hmm. But like now, if you're going to load tonight's dirty dishes just to start a load, you'd have to unload that one right now. And I love to put it off for at least one more day, don't you? <laughs> I've got to get that dishwasher unloaded. <laughs> you got to put all the dishes up in. I know. I know. Ain't that awful. Whew. Get nice things like a dishwasher and then you're too lazy to unload it and put the dishes in. And be up. greedy and want to. I want to. That ain't nice. That ain't nice. I've been ugly. Sorry, Mama. I was wishful thinking. Hoggish thinking. Mama's making me feel guilty for one two dishwashers. Okay, I'll take it back. <laughs> Somebody on here is going to tell me they got two. And then I'm going to be ugly because I'm going to be jealous. <gasps> I hear, Joan, Joan, I have two dishwashers and it's great. Joan, now I'm jealous of you. No, Joan, I'm glad you got them. Yeah. Uh, Wendy's hamburger for dinner with Robert. That's fine. That's a good meal. I need two dishwashers, too. See, everybody's... Mama, I ain't being hoggish. That's just wishful thinking. Joan's got that, folks. Joan, we're all jealous of you. Just insanely jealous that you got two dishwashers. Uh, I love salt. Jenny, I do, too. Have a blessed night. Hi, Joan and Mama. New salt is for people that can't have salt. In you... Rachel, I'll try that. We've got this right here. I just bought the first one I seen. I thought Morton's, I know they're salt, so maybe they're no salt. It's good. It's not bad. It's sodium free, salt substitute. It's not bad. 
Oh, we've not used it much. Chicken stir fry. Carla, that sounds good. I thought about that because I got the chicken. Maybe tomorrow will be chicken stir fry. Your mom won't use one dishwasher. I know, Carolyn. She won't. That's what she thinks too is absolutely ridiculous because she won't use this one. You have two dishwashers, you and Mama. Ah, ha, 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 ha. What'd she say? You got two, you and Mama. <laughs> we got three then. But I was washing them. I don't mind washing them. I've got two. Kim Stewart, me and my husband. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, chicken fingers, mashed potatoes. Ooh, Teresa, I love I that. I like that. And that's man. Mama's favorite, one of her favorite meals. I have three dishwashers. I use all of them. Brenda, are you talking about like you and your husband and your other one? Or do you really have three? Morton's light salt is good. Okay, we'll try that. Andrea, thank you. I got my cup today. Oh, okay, good. How about sea salt? I've got sea salt. It's it's salt. It's got sodium. All of them have. Some folks have a huge family, so they need to dishwasher. I guess that's right, Debbie. Why, yeah, they got a lot. You got a lot because we filled this one up pretty quick. Uh, it's okay. I have, love to have two dishwashers. Let's don't feel bad. I'm not going to, Janet. Mama, quit making me and Janet feel bad. We're just wishful thinking, ain't we, Janet? Yeah. I have two dishwashers. It's called <laughs> Dakota and Angelia. Oh, uh, Colleen, that's funny. We don't have a Dakota or an Angelia. We need that. Hey, Mama, what do do witches put on their bagels? Ah, oh, Brandy, Ooh. that's cute. Hey, Mama, what do witches put on their bagels? Witches cream. Mama, you're so close. Take the word cream and what could you add a letter to it and you make it a witchy sound? Creamy? Yes. Add an S to the front of it. Scream cheese. Scream cheese. I love it. That's a good one, Brandy. That is good. The no salt is good. Okay, Gloria, we'll try that. Table salt or Morton's is trash salt. All the healthy minerals removed. Use Redmond's real salt. Okay, Susan. Love seeing you all. Watch from South Spring Carolina. Hey, too. Jane, how are you? Lemon tastes like salt. Pauline, you're the second one to tell me that. So, lemon zest can be substituted for salt. I like that. Research the salt substitute according to my specialist. It can be worse. Tammy, really? They live out in the country. They're down pretty well. Does a uh, trunk and tree. We have trunk or tree, but mostly here people just do the old fashioned ring the doorbell. Hey, John and Mama, are you ready for Halloween? Do you get any trick-or-treaters? Uh, Brock, we get zero. We used to get them. We used to get a lot. Like, uh, sometimes as high as seven. More. Th we used to. A long time ago, we got a lot. <laughs> Mama, listen. I don't know if she will this year or not. But y'all know them Tupperware bowls that we sell for Halloween. Mama always has them full of candy for them trick-or-treaters. And last year I said, Mama, what's all this candy for? And she said, well, in case some kids come by. I said, Mama, we don't never get any trick-or-treaters. And you got enough candy for 152. And she said, well, I give them a good handful. They get a good treat when they come here. We used to have some of the kids in the neighborhood, and we would have six, My seven. My nieces and nephews and stuff. But they grew up. I know. Um, but they, um, we used to have seven, eight. I remember one year we had ten or twelve, and that was a, not a lot. But you buy candy that you like. And you have that. And candy. you eat it when they don't show up. That's right. You'll have it a long time to eat them. No, you don't have it a long time. <laughs> 
We don't hardly ever have any. We turn our porch lights on, but we don't have any. Hi, John and Mama. I hope you both are well. We are doing great. We're blessed, Janice. Thank you for asking. I hope you are too. Love watching you, sweet. Well, thank you, Cindy. We love having y'all here with us. Good night, John and Mama. Martha, good night to you. Does nature season have salt? I think it does, Angela. I bet you can get no salt version, though. Oh, my old one quit working when I finally got my new one. I ran it every day. If you don't have it, Debbie, you want it, ain't it? Now, I use the dishwasher. Mama's the one that won't use it. Lowry's salt free. Okay, Karen, we'll look at that too. Let's see here. Brown, no salt seasoning, McCormick. Try Tabitha Brown, no salt seasoning. Okay, Tammy, Tabitha Brown. I remember that. I've never heard of that. How old is mother? This mother? This mother is 76, Raymond. 76. I've done past three quarters of a century. She don't look it, does she? <laughs> yeah. How old would you think she is? Let's get a close up. Older than that. How old would you think? 56? No. Nobody would think I was just 56. You don't look 76. Yeah, I do. Especially now. Mama's family's got a young gene. Her sisters look young, too. Her baby sister's 70. One, 71. 71. But she don't look any older than 51. Mama's about... Mama could be 61. And her sister, who's... 82. 82. She looks like she might be 63. Her, she looks younger than me. They're all youngins. They look young. She's adorable, Deborah Sal. <laughs> Angela says... Angela Britt says 61, Mama. Oh, boy. She looks great for her age. No. Tanya says you look about 65, Mama. She's peeled off 11 years. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, same age my daddy will be in November. Now, my daddy in November would have been... 80. Does this be his 80th birthday? Uh -huh. He'd have been 80. Thank you, Cindy. You're so sweet. I would guess 62. She's beautiful. Well, thank you, Pamela. Well, thank you. We used to get lots of kids in there. You know, Wanda, a lot of, of towns have gone to church trunk or treats, and I think that pulls a lot away. Now, we have a big trunk or treat or park, Halloween in the park, the night before Halloween, and that sometimes, I guess, gets them. And then the Veterans Park has the trunk or treat. I don't know if they're having it anymore. Oh, they don't. Know. Um, but a lot of them go to those things, and it's just changed, and it's just not as safe. You know, when I was a kid, we was running through yards and everything to get to the door, and it was just, we knew them all. We knew all the folks, and we knew who was going to go see. Now, you know. You don't. You don't know, and you just send people your kids up to a door. I never would take you unless I knew them. I hated it. I hated it. I did not like candy that much. The very few pieces of candy that I ever like. And Mama made me go everywhere. I didn't want you to miss your childhood. Every aunt, every uncle, grandparents. Anybody we went to church with, now you gotta go, you go in there and you act right. I said, Mama, I'm hot and I can't see through this mask. It was a mo black, the mo mask, plastic, and little eyes, and a piece of rubber band around the back of your head. That's all we had back in those days. And mine was always Batman. That's what I dressed up like every year. And it's rough. And you'd have that cape, and I'd have that. Mm, you had to crawl in out of that car. And there's always six of us, and you're sitting on top of kids, and whew. life is rough, ain't it, honey? I said, "Can we go home?" She'd eat my candy because she liked it better than I did. 
I could eat candy, but I like the caramel and I like the Reese's. We didn't have fun size stuff back then. We had real size. So if you did get a Snickers, it was a full size. Because they didn't have fun size, nothing. And around here, a lot of times you'll get popcorn balls. I hated them things. My grandma always made popcorn balls. You never did get any of hers. No, but they were popcorn made, and it was sugar and Kool-Aid. And it would make a hard ball, and you couldn't you'd crack into it. I don't like them. I don't like them either. And, um... We had a few places that would give caramel apples wrapped in cellophane. Well, when you got them, you peeled the cellophane off there, I went to caramel, so you sit around the rest of the night sucking on a piece of cellophane. <laughs> Hershey bars, Reese bars, and a little bit of caramel. It's the only thing I'd eat. I wouldn't eat none of the rest of that stuff. And then I remember one time they was putting stuff in apples and you know, razor ooh. blades and needles. And you would go to the hospital. True story. You'd go to the hospital and they'd X-ray your candy bag. Y'all remember that? I didn't. We did. We never went to anybody who'd hurt us. It was just family. But a lot of remember that that was a big yeah. thing back in the day. Man. Sugar daddies. Now, I like sugar daddies, yeah, yeah. and I like sugar babies. I got a hold of a bag of sugar babies about a month or two ago. They mailed it in your mouth. They were the freshest sugar babies we had yeah, ever had. Yeah. In a long, long, long time. They were good. <laughs> Deborah says she remembers it very well. Yes, I remember that life out loud, Barbara. I remember it, darling. Did y'all take your candy to the hospital? What a mess. Mama has such a beautiful smile. You have the same smile. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Miss Shar. Sherry says, our popcorn balls were made with molasses. That's what grandma's was made with. And were great. No Kool-Aid. My aunt always made them from caramel apples. So molasses, that sounds good, but these was hard and they were orange. Always orange. And you crack into them and... <sighs> Grandma always made them out of molasses and they were so oh, good. Cherry, I love cowtails and I love charms. The caramel with the creamy centers. Mm. Sugar daddies, how's your teeth? Yeah, sugar daddies would pull your teeth out of you. Ain't careful. Um, I don't know what that said. Those were fun times. Sorry, they were. And the big deal back then was to go home and you and your cousins or I guess brothers and sisters done the same thing. And you'd dump your candy out and the ends would trade. And um, a lot of them didn't like caramel. They just wanted that suckers and hard candies and I, they could have all mine I didn't care and um, so I got me a little pile of caramels and stuff but nobody wouldn't give up their Reese's or their Snickers <laughs> we had one woman always gave full size Snickers boy we beat a pack to that door <laughs> my mom gave out candy apples see mm -hmm. Ray I bet they were good uh, but Mine was always melted on that cellophane. I wanted all the Reese's, Lauren. I still do. Leanne, I still do. Well, thank you, Terry. You're awesome, too. I have had many feelings pulled out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be horrible. Uh... Snickers, yeah. My sister used to save her candy and later charge us a penny each. <laughs> that was cute. Oh, I, like I should have done that. I like that. <laughs> Love Reese Cups. Carolyn, aren't they the best? Hush about Reese Cups is making me want one. Now they have fancy ones made like pumpkins and everything. Back in our day, it was plain old Reese Cups. 
And a they Reese were big. Cup back in the old days was a Reese Cup. I remember eating half of one and saving the other half for later because they were big as a Coke can. But now they're all like miniature size. <laughs> and whoever told candy suppliers that this is fun size, that's aggravating size. Don't call them little old bites a fun size. A fun size is a full size candy snicker. Bar. That's when you've had fun is when you got a whole candy bar. That here's you a bite. Call it fun. No. No. Oh <sighs> uh, what is the black thing that mama is carrying? That yeah. is a yeah. life vest thing. In case, when you have blockages and stuff, you need to... I've got a... She's got the... Uh, vest down here. Defib life vest. Uh, hopefully, it'll never have to be used, but it's a precautionary thing until she gets the stent. Um, anytime you have a blockage, of course, you've got a chance of your heart going into AFib or something like that. So it's not a good thing, but it's good to have thing. It's a good... Um, you know, you don't want to have to fool with it because mama gets tired of fooling with it. But you want to have it just in case you need it, and hopefully, you never will. And, uh, but we're glad technology's provided it. It's better than just saying, take your chances. And I, they're very common. I asked when they come, it was kind of like, what are you talking about? This vest and what? And the woman, she said, I've done tons of them here. You know, a lot of people have them. You have them for a week, two weeks, three weeks. And she 90 said, 90 days. 90 days. She said, it's a precautionary thing. And she said, you know, this area I have done many. She said, chances are you know 10 or 12 people who've had them or their families had them. She said, because they're very, very common. Which made us feel better about it in some ways. But yet, you know. So it's a safety net. It's a safeguard. Hi, y'all. Hey, Andre, how are you? Hello, good folks. Hey, Susan. All right, folks, we can sit here and chat with y'all all night, but I'm going to clean these dishes up, and I'm going to get ready to get ready to go to bed. It's 6 o'clock. I know it. By 8 o'clock, I may lay down. Watch a little, you know, something, or read, check on y'all, and I'll go to sleep by 9. Mama will probably sit up till 10, I don't know about that. When hours. she naps late, she watches the uh, uh, Murder, She Wrote, and then Columbo. They're and then, not on now. They've got Christmas on now. I know. Can we talk about that? I went through there one day, and it was Christmas. I said, why is Christmas? Mama says, they're having Christmas. We just had Christmas in July. We just having Christmas in October. And we're going to have Christmas in two more months for real. I love Christmas. But do we do it year-round now? These TV shows, I think they're going to overboard with it. Why don't they come up with some fall movies? Or some Thanksgiving movies? But this Christmas year-round? Do we really need Christmas in July? <laughs> or is that just a way for the stores to try to capture a dollar? I mean, let's be serious. I love Christmas, but all year round? What do y'all think? From South Carolina. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Hey, John and Mama, praying for you, Mama. Thank you, Sherry. We continue to covet your prayers and just ask you to yeah. please remember us. Good night, sleep well. God's blessings. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Hey, Janet. Hey, Sharon. <laughs> Sharon said, yes, we do. Year-round. Christmas. Sharon. A lot I guess, of people love it. I, I love guess they Christmas, do. but I... I don't, I'm not against it. I'm not taking a hard line here. I'm just saying. 
I came through and I wasn't expecting to hear Christmas music and Christmas stuff. Now, Christmas year round if you want to play some songs. I don't know. Maybe I should think on it a while. I like that though, Sharon. Yes, we do. I saw Valentine's stuff at the Dollar Tree today. Karen, really? It's going to get to it just be year round. Valentine's? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, like Christmas would be to me, chicken and dressing. Charlotte, I like that. Or Timothy, I like that. I can watch Christmas shows year-round. Fluff is good. All right, Lord. Yes, John, I'm with you. We don't need Christmas year-round. So, Lisa, I'm afraid you and me is getting outvoted here. But... <laughs> About the money, Joyce. That's what I'm thinking. When all these stores have Christmas in July, I think they're just wanting us to spend money. You know, used to Black Friday was the day. Now, you've got Prime. You got days, Black Friday in July. Or something. Black Friday in July. You've got three or four Black Fridays. You've got get your Christmas stuff in June. I guess it's all good. Yes, love Hallmark Christmas movies and Pam. We can all be friends. Hi from New Hampshire. I don't do Christmas in July. Linda, I don't watch none of it enough to worry with it, but now I do like a good Christmas movie and Christmas time. I'll spend a day or two watching a Christmas movie. But it just startled me at this was earlier in the month. First of October. I said, that's Christmas. Mama said, oh, they've started that. And his mama don't like it so much because they take off Murder, She Wrote and Clumbo. <laughs> but now she'll sit there and watch some Christmas shows. Yeah, I'll watch them. <laughs> it's just a state of mind. It's I'll fine. Watch I'm not against it. I'm just questioning. <laughs> if y'all want Christmas year round, I think you are to have it. Put your tree up. Leave it up year round. I like that. I'm okay with that. We seen a pretty Christmas hey, tree at one of the doctor's office. Sunflowers, orange and yellow and white, and fall colors and stuff on it. It was so pretty. We could use another thankful day. That's right. I love Thanksgiving. More Thanksgiving stuff. Kathy, that's what I like to see. You know, it's one day, but, you know, a lot of things in November are thankful months and those kind of things, and I think that's good. I really do. And it brings it out in people. Um, do, have y'all realized, have y'all realized this today? Me and one of my friends was talking. Tomorrow is half of October. Don't seem real. It's the 14th. Tomorrow's 15th. Well, I guess 15 and a half days. 15 and a half. But it's half of October's already gone. Next is November. That's... I was just the other day saying, oh, the Burr months will be here. I love September, October, November, and December. But they're half over almost. We're getting ready in two weeks to start Thanksgiving season. It was just 4th of July two weeks ago, I promise. I look. The calendar must have got flipped. But now we're halfway through October. We're fixing to head right into November. Then Christmas. It's here. And we've still got tomatoes on the vine out there. But yet we're almost to Thanksgiving. Anything? Have you looked at? I ain't been out. I can't. Been There's out. some green ones out there, so they'll turn red. But they'll probably get bit. But I'm gonna go up there and try to pick them. I picked these. We didn't eat them yet. You know how it is. But anyway, Mama, you got anything you want to add? No. Well, I guess we'll wrap it up and say good night, folks. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here with us. We appreciate you so much. Um, you just will never know what you mean to us. And thank you for liking, sharing, following, and all the stuff you do to keep us going. Uh, you're pushing us out to more people, and that's good, too. 
I like to see the numbers grow. We're steadily growing, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. Y'all have a blessed night. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. God bless you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Have a good one.